Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Minecraft Education Edition to code your own working volcano. So it's an own erupting volcano. Uh, this has all been created using code, it's not been done by hand. And we use the blocks uh, because they're quite easy to use. Okie dokie, so let's get going. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create yourself a new world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create myself a flat world, as I always do when I'm trying these things out. So create yourself a new world and set it to creative mode. Set it to flat while we're testing it out. And just leave it on daytime. I'm going to leave it on daytime for the moment. It does look quite cool at night, actually, but um, we'll leave it on day for the moment while we're building it. Good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up two scripts. And so we press C. And once you press C on, on your keyboard, it will pop up the code builder and click on new project. Yours might pop on the right hand side, in which case choose the top option, the make code. And create yourself a, um, a new project. So I'm going to call it my volcano. There you go. Good. And we're going to have a couple of scripts. Uh, let's just get rid of that one. And the first script that we're going to have is going to be the build here script. Build here script. There you go. And the idea of the build here script is that what we do is before we start building the volcano, we first walk to the position where we want it to spawn, uh, and then we run the build here command, and then that says, okay, we're going to build here, and then we move out of the way before we actually build it, and that'll be a separate function. Otherwise, we're going to build the volcano on our heads, which isn't going to be too pretty. Okay, so we create a uh, Create an on chat command here called build here. And all we need to do now is we just record, once that happens, we just record where the x, y, and z world coordinates of the player are. So uh, we're going to uh, the player x. Create a new variable called player x. And we're going to set this to the world position. So we need to go world position. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, 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 there we go. Oh, no, we don't do that. Actually, that's wrong. Hang on. We get the player world position. I've gone wrong. Player world position. Uh, we're going to use this one in a little bit, but not yet. Let's get rid of that one for the moment. And what we need to do is we go to the position blocks, and we need this one here. So there we go, like that. There we go. Good. So we set the player x to the player's world position and we get the x value of the world position. So wherever you are in the world, it sets this px variable so that we can use that later. A variable is just a little a named container that, um, that we can store stuff in, values in. So we'll do the same here with the y. So we'll do py and we'll set the player position to the value of y. And then again, right click, duplicate. And then p new variable p z. There you go. Okie doke. And set the value to z. There we go. So we've got a, a script called build here. And all it does is when you run that script, wherever you are, it remembers the x, the y, and the z coordinate of that script. And that's the first one we've got to run each time called build here. Good. Move him out of the way, and he's now done. So the second script is we actually start creating the volcano. There we go. So this one's going to be called Volcano. Good. There we go. Now, uh, our Volcano, it's going to need, uh, we need to store some more information about it. Uh, first of all, we're going to need to store the uh, the radius because we're going to be building a circular volcano. There we are. Uh, and I'll set the radius to, let's set it to 10. There we go. Radius of 10 for the moment. Um, so we're setting the radius. We're going to keep track of the radius. We're also going to need to keep track of what level of the volcano that we're building, because we build it up in like slices, where it does a circle at each level. So we need to remember which level we're on. And we'll start on level zero, so we'll build the bottom level, then the next one, the next one, then the next one. There we go. And that's probably about it for the moment. We'll probably need some more... Um, uh, oh, actually, yeah, we need the um, the width as well that we're going to build to. There we are. Um, there we go. Uh, there we go. And this is the uh, layer radius. We'll call it the layer radius. Layer radius. So we've got two radiuses. We've got the original radius of the overall volcano. And then we've got the layer radius. Uh, because 
as we're making a cone, it's got to get thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, so each layer is going to be a slightly smaller radius than the previous, whereas this is the overall radius. Okay, good. So we've created some variables here. And now the layer radius at the start of the game needs to be set to the original radius. It's going to change later. There you go. But it's going to set there for the moment. Good. So now what we've got to do? Well, we're going to use the, um, if we're going to the advanced here, we're going to use the shapes. And we're going to make a circle. There we go. And the circle here, it's going to be a circle of whatever you're going to use. I'm going to make gravel. Um, we'll start with gravel, and I'll show you why in a bit, because uh, we can do some funny things with it. Um, and what we need to do is we're going to place the circle on the bottom ground here, and it's got to be right at the bottom. So the center position of the circle is going to be uh, the X is going to be what the player X is. Uh, the Y is going to be zero, uh, player Y, and the Z is going to be the player Z at the start. At the start. So now what we do is we need to set that. So we go to position. There we go, and we go to a world position here. There you go, world position. And then what we do is we just pop for the moment. We pop these three values in there: the player X, the player Y, and the player Z. There we go. And the radius is going to be whatever the layer radius is. So layer radius there. There we go. And there we go. And this one, we're going to do it on the up down so that it draws it the circle flat on the floor. If you did X, then it would draw vertical circles and it look a bit crazy. OK, so we've got enough there to sort of get started. And let's see how it looks. We're going to have to edit this in a little bit, but let's just click run and let's see how that works so we walk to where we want let's say I'm gonna be mean and put the uh, volcano on the cow and we just press enter and we do uh, build here there we go there we go build here so we know that that's where the first layer is gonna build and we move out of the way so we don't build on us and we just type in a volcano there you go and you can see now that it's built the bottom level of the volcano and the poor cow's stuck oh sorry cow Okay, doke, here we go. So we've got the bottom layer of the volcano. Now we need to add each slice as we're going up. Um, now we could add loads of these here and we could change this player Y, which is the height here. We could change that by player Y plus one, plus two, plus three. Um, but we could do that all manually, but there must be a way using code that we can do it um, another way. Well, yeah, there's a nice easy way here. And what we can do is we can do a repeat, uh, repeat, and let's put that in there, repeat four times, there we go, and what we're going to do is going to repeat the number of um, the radius times, and the reason being is that if it starts at 10 across, we want it eventually to come 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, going slowly, but we also need to go up as well the same amount of times. So if we repeat the radius times, whatever the radius set here is, it'll repeat that many times. There we go. Good. Now, so there we go. We're going to do that. Now, each time round, there's two things that need to happen. Okay. First of all, the layer radius needs to get smaller each time. And also the Y coordinate, which is the height of the layer that we're stacking on, needs to change as well. So what we need to do here is we need to work out a way of uh, changing them automatically. And that's actually quite easy. Uh, let's start with the, uh, one of them. So if you're going to change here, this player Y isn't going to be fixed at Y, but it's going to be whatever Y is plus whatever the level is at that moment in time. So... We do the player Y plus level, put that back in. So that's now going to go up by one. And we also need to make sure that we change the uh, change the level by one each time. So that after each repeat, it draws a circle. Then it makes the level go up by one, which because of this code means that it goes up vertically by one. Uh, remembering that in the Minecraft world, X is how far left and right you are. Y is how far up and down you are, and Z is how far deep into the world you are. Okay, good. So that now will mean that the, the circle will keep going up 
But what we also need to do is we need to change the layer radius by one, uh, by minus one each time, so that the radius of the um, the circle each time goes down by one. There we go. Good. So we should now have something that's starting to look. If we click start, um, let's try a new position. Let's go over here and let's do build here. There we go. Build here and then we'll move out of the way. And now, volcano. There we go. Hopefully now. There we go. One, two, three, four. Should do it all the way up. Yay, perfect, brilliant, good. And that's really, really good. So we've got our volcano. It looks pretty volcano-ish, uh, and you can make it pretty much any size that you want. But there's a little bit of a problem, uh, and let me show you what happens. So let's say we want to finish our volcano off here, and we want to put a block at the top of um, a block of uh, lava at the top. Now the one. Uh, let's duplicate that. So that will be here which I've just stolen that straight from there because it'll put it straight onto here. But if we put a block of lava on the top, there's our lava. Let's run that again now. Let me show you what the problem is. So if we come over here, let's build here. There we go. And let's move out of the way so we don't get flattened by our volcano. And now you can see it builds, 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 which is all fine. And there's probably a little bit of a problem. There we go. You'll see it in a moment. Um, the problem we've got is our lovely little circular volcano is just a little bit too perfect. Uh, and why does that cause problems? Well, you can see what's happening here. Because it's a perfect shape like that and the way that the lava moves, um, yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it covers the whole volcano. Um, which probably isn't really what you wanted. So we want it to look a bit more volcano-like. Uh, and the reason is it's too perfect. So what we need to do is we need to make it a little bit less perfect. And the way we do that is before we put the um, the lava in here, we need to throw on some random blocks, or some rather some blocks in random positions. So, and this is why we use the gravel here. So what we do is, let's say, well, first of all, we need to do, let's say we're going to chuck in um, 100 blocks to make it random. And here we go. Let's just put that there. Thank you. Here we go. So we're going to place 100 blocks, um, duplicate. But what we need to do here is we're going to place it at the same level here as what we're placing the lava. But we want to change the x coordinate and the z coordinate to be kind of randomized a bit. So the way we do that is we use the math function and we want to pick something that um, a random number between the radius, because uh, that obviously is radius left, right, up, uh, forward, backwards of 10. So we need to pick some numbers that are sort of around from uh, 10 that way, which is like plus 10 to minus 10, some random number, and then um, the other way, plus 10 to minus 10. So how do we do that? Well. Obviously, the plus 10, uh, the pick around and between it there and there, uh, we can just use the variable. So wh whatever the radius is. So there we go. The plus 10 is the radius. So it's going to pick at the moment it pick around and between 0 and 10. But we want it to pick between minus 10. And the way we do that is a nice simple trick. All we do is we say, OK, pick a random number between. There we go zero minus the radius so if the radius is 10 uh, zero minus 10 is of course minus 10 um, and therefore it will do any number between those values there we go um, but we also need to add that number that we've got here onto the x value because otherwise this will appear in the world somewhere not relative to where the player is so we just add it on to the player x so there we go. And it's just just like that. There we go. In fact, we'll duplicate that because we're going to use two lots of that. There we go. And what we need to do here is the X goes in there. There we go. Another X. Uh, that one goes in there. So now you can see. So we pick a random number between. Oh, that's not right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Zero minus the radius. That's sort of minus 10. 
to 10 and then add that onto the player x so it'll either move it if you get minus 10 it's going to move it 10 like right, 10 left because minus 10 plus whatever the x is it's going to move it left or if you get plus 10 it's going to move it right or it's going to move it somewhere in between just make sure that the x one here is player x at the end and the z one is player z otherwise it'll go a bit funny and what we'll do is we'll change that to gravel so it'll drop around and leave that as the level there that's okay and what we'll do here is we will start and let's see that in action so we'll just move out of the way uh, let's build here build here there we go build here and then we'll move out of the way and we'll type enter again and put volcano volcano there we go so hopefully now you'll see it in action so it builds the volcano then it chucks a load of random blocks everywhere do, do, do. and then finally it then does the volcano and now because we chucked some random blocks everywhere it should be a little bit more random rather than just being all flowing everywhere let's have a look yeah it's a little bit more random i think what we might have to do though is if we go back to the code maybe do it 200 or 300 times or it doesn't really matter how many times you do it um it'll just keep adding more and more if you do it um let's try that there you go what you might also need to do as well is um maybe here um if you're putting more on just add one to whatever this one is so that it goes a little bit higher otherwise it might get um it might actually get um, rip, um hidden or replaced let's just show you that in fact actually let's just do that there let's just add one to that there we go so it just puts it on a little bit higher up so that it doesn't get covered in gravel and buried by gravel there we go there we go on that there we go so now we're going to do it 300 times there we go let's try this one last time build here and then we'll move out of the way and then we'll do volcano there we go so now it should build all the layers of our volcano throw 300 bo blocks down in a random location there we go it's snowing gravel hey there we go do, 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 do. And so it's taking its time. There we go. I suppose he's got to do 300 of them. There you go. And now we've got a slightly more random volcano, uh, and it should flow in slightly more random directions. There we go. Done. There you go. Okie dokie. So that's how you do a volcano. Uh, if you do like the video, then please do like. Uh, if you want to subscribe for more videos, then please do so. And if you've got a suggestion or for any comments or anything for future videos, etc., um, either with Minecraft or anything else, then just uh, just drop me a comment. Okie dokie. Thank you very much.